Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Black Tiger here from Tiger Gaming. And, as you can see, I've got a huge lineup of epic tractors that look so fantastic, you'll probably do a backflip or two. But yeah, this is gonna be a epically fantastic John Deere mod showcase. Uh, just pretty much tractors for now. I might do combines in that later, but I tried installing a couple of combines and they didn't want to cooperate with me at all. So that was pretty depressing, but uh, yeah, I gonna, I'll be able to move on with it, I think, guys, but uh, I might need some support from you. But uh, yeah, other than that, I guess we'll get started here with the mod showcase of John Deere. Actually, speaking of case, I might do a case review as well. I only have one modded tractor from case, but, uh, yeah, I can definitely get more. So, yeah, let me know if you want me to do that, guys. But, yeah, randomly today, I feel very energetic, and it's, like, 1 in the morning. So, yeah, I want to make this video. But, yeah, let's start off with the 6150M from John Deere. Fire this bad boy up and see what she sounds like. I right, always gotta heat that engine up before you start these things. Yeah, sounds pretty epic, as you can hear there. And uh, yeah, let's go over some of this thing's features. So key seven is the front linkage here. You can either have that random black thing there or attach some random thing to the front. So yeah, that's always good. And then you've got Let's see, I don't even know all the controls myself here because they aren't even listed for some reason, but... Yeah, okay, those are the backlights there. I want these uh, bottom keys here on the numpad are the uh, um, signal keys, so yeah. Yeah, here's the engine. I mean, not the engine, the inside of this thing, guys. As you can see, the dials actually work, which is pretty sick. It's actually quite awesome. The inside is really detailed. Wow, this guy is good at turning around and he's looking through his body. It's pretty freaky and interesting at the same time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing actually, I didn't even know you could see the stuff there on the dash. It's pretty sick. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, this isn't the one. No, I've got a surprise for you in the next tractor. Well, let's hear if this thing has a horn. Yeah, it's got a pretty good sounding horn. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, we'll just park it there. For, whoops. Park it there for now. And uh, shut it off here in a second. Just stick with me, guys. I gotta plug in my headset here quick. Quickly. It might make a lot of noise because it's very, 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 very tangled. And, uh,. It's gonna be pretty difficult to untangle it. Come on. You can do it, headset. I believe in you. Alright, let's listen here. Hopefully I can hear stuff. And I can't hear a thing. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know why I can't hear anything. That sucks. But that's all right. Guess there's no point in uh, wearing a headset. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to uh, listen to the sound here while I am driving these tractors. But that's okay. How the heck do you start this thing? Oh, there we go. We already started it, Phil. But uh, yeah, this thing sounds nice as well. This is a 6170R. Um, it's a lot like the uh, 6150M. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see. I don't know if you can really tell from that angle, but yeah, it's quite a bit bigger, I'd say. And yeah, we'll turn on the lights here. This is a little bit better mod, I'd say, than the uh, 6150M. So yeah, here I'll actually go inside here and uh, you can actually change that screen there. That's pretty sick. So yeah, I'd say this is an even a little bit better mod. The graphics inside here are phenomenal too. 
It actually has working dials and stuff too, just like the other one, so that's pretty sick. Oh, no, don't. Oh, whoops. Crash into that. Oh, God. Physics in this game are a little bit iffy sometimes, but that's just because of mods. And yeah, this one's actually got dirt on it, so apparently if you drive it about three feet on concrete, it starts getting dirty, but uh, yeah, I guess it's extremely realistic. <laughs> but um, yeah. Alright, I'll show you guys one of the sickest features of this tractor here. Oh, what did I just do? That thing just moved. Well, that's sick. I don't know what that does. It moves the pedal in there. That's cool. Ah, there we go. So yeah, by pressing T7, you can actually uh, get this epic uh, front end loader arm on this thing and it turns into like a super utility tractor, so it was pretty awesome. I was actually using this thing to like carry all the tires and stuff uh, from my bigger tractors that have double wheels and they, those wheels right there actually. So yeah, this thing works really well. It's an awesome tractor actually, I like it a lot. And we'll just attach here quickly, and I'll show you guys how this thing works. It's pretty sick. So I just use the mouse buttons to operate it. It's pretty awesome. And like go every which way. But yeah, I'll uh, pick up this thing over here. But yeah, guys, I'm going to have to see after the video what the horns sound like. So uh, please don't get upset if I'm like, oh. I wonder if this has, a, this has a horn or not because, like, I have no clue. I can't hear anything, so, but yeah. Still trying to get used to my new uh, recording mic for some reason. It blocks off all other sound on my computer, and I can only record game sound and my microphone sound um, if I disable the speakers. So, yeah, it's kind of strange, but I don't know. It works for me, so I'm just going to keep it that way for now. Why the heck isn't he letting me pick it up? Come on, don't be mean. Oh, there we go. And then, yeah, so you can just lift that up like that and uh, put the arm up, and that's pretty sick. It's actually an awesome feature. And, uh, yeah, we can bring it over and put it in some random place. Let's put it over here. Let's raise the arm up all the way. My mouse pad isn't big enough, so I can't slide it, like, all the way on my, uh, mouse pad, so that kind of sucks. Alright, come on, get off. Come on, get off. I don't think this thing's gonna want to cooperate here. Oh, there we go, come on. Oh, no. Come on, this is so close. Get off! Alright, there we go. Alright, so we'll put this thing... Actually, we might as well just, like, leave it right here for now. And we'll go and review uh, the other tractors. Alright, so next we've got the 7530, and I actually have a different 7530 I'll show you here quickly in my mods. I've got this one here, but this one's actually a, a lot, um, it's not as good quality of a mod as this one is. This one's really nice, so yeah, I'll be doing this one for uh, this mod for sure. But yeah, let's turn this thing on here and see what this sounds like. Yeah, this one sounds really nice as well. And uh, let's see what kind of features this thing has. I know it has some opening windows, so that's got to be one of these controls. Oh, that's sick. It's got inside cab lights. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, there's the rear working lights, uh, the top lights there, so turn all the lights on at once. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, the blinkers and stuff. So the windows are probably somewhere here. I would imagine, oops. Or maybe not. Could be wrong. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't think this tractor has opening doors and windows, but I know a lot of mine, my other ones do. But uh, yeah, let's put on the tires here. These are actually the tires for this tractor, pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty realistic too, like you don't do them both at once, you do like one side then you can switch to the other. So I'll go over here, oh crap, I'm gonna have to go up here to get the... Darn it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, as you can see, this thing looks like a total beast when you have like double, uh, double, double tires on the front and the back, so yeah, it's pretty epic. Yeah, it's like, it looks massive like that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll just keep this thing here for now and uh, go on to our next tractor. Oh, I think I forgot to do the horn in this one. I'll press it, see if it's got one. Yeah, hopefully that sounded good. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to the 7810 now. It's a bit of an older John Deere. I still like it though, it's a really good quality mod. Go to the inside view here, you can see it's got a quickly start it up. This thing actually sounds really nice when you start it up too. It's, I like the sound of this tractor. It's really nice. And uh, yeah, this thing's really nice inside too. It's a really good quality mod. Don't think the dials move though, so that's alright. But yeah, we got uh, the work light on the back and the front, so that's pretty cool as well. And then regular lights, that's pretty much it for this one, I think. So, yeah, that's cool. And now we'll go to our next tractor, which is actually one of my personal favorites, the 7820. This thing is a gorgeous tractor, I actually love this thing. So nice. Sounds pretty awesome too. It's quite a bit bigger than the 7810 actually. Well the roof height is probably the same but I think this one's longer for sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the detail on this tractor is just amazing. Like even on the inside, like look at that. It's so nice. Oh yeah, it's even got a second seat too right there. I don't know what the heck that's for. But, uh, yeah. We'll drive this thing around here a bit. And I'll show you guys actually a really cool feature that it's got as well. You can actually, uh, hook it up to these care wheels here so you don't damage your field as much, which is pretty cool. Although they look totally ugly, I like the other wheels much more. These look way better. But, yeah, if you want to be, uh, want to be careful not to damage your field you can use those wheels but yeah I think I'll stick with these for now Oops. Whoa. <laughs> this is what I mean by some of the physics are a little bit glitchy okay there we go alright we'll get our next tractor here guys alright so our next tractor is very very similar to the 7820 as you see this is the 7830 but this one, like, the quality of this is even more improved than the 7820. Like, as you can see, it's, like, dirt on the wheels. The overall texture of the wheels looks different. Like, they look kind of dirty. Just such a nice mod. And, like, the uh, your character looks kind of psycho. The same with the 7820. But, yeah, it's got, like, a John Deere thing on. It looks completely insane. But, uh, yeah, that's it's all right. <laughs> And there's a lot of controls for this thing, so let's see what they do. Oh, that enables four-wheel drive, I'm pretty sure. Have I even started this yet? Alright, there we go. And I don't know if it has a horn. I'll press it a bit there. Yeah, there's the lights. Um, work lights. Rear work lights. Got Oh, yeah, this one, the door opens. It's pretty sick. Door opens on it, it's really nice. Is the back door open on this one too? I'm not sure. I know it does on some of them. Oh, yeah, and you can actually tilt the steering wheel, that's pretty sick as well. And then, got. Oh, yep, the back window does open. 
that's sick. Such a nice mod. Whoops. No, I don't want to put speed control on. Yeah, we'll just leave that one here. Oh yeah, and also you can, uh, I think, switch the front uh, implement thing here. How do you do that? I forget. Yeah, I forget how to do that one. But yeah, that's it for this tractor. We'll go on to our next one. And the next one, guys, is my favorite mod so far. This next tractor is just such a gorgeous beast monster tractor. It's so nice. Why am I stuck? Okay, there. Yeah, guys, this is the 8220. As you can see, this thing has the most amount of detail I've ever seen in any mod. This thing is just so gorgeous like look at the detail on this thing it's just un incredible like so much detail went into this mod it's just so gorgeous this tractor I love it like look at that like all the tractors are good but none of them are as good as the 8220 it's just like next level modding <laughs> we'll go inside here I'll show you the uh, the view inside like, look at this. Look at how good this mod is. It's incredible. Look at that. Everything is like just crystal clear. So nice. Even says John Deere on the floor mat there. It's so awesome. When you turn the wheels, the steering wheel turns as well. And yeah, we'll start it up here for you guys. This thing sounds epic. Yeah, as you can see, this tractor sounds so nice. It's a really nice sounding tractor. When you uh, turn on the lights, it actually turns on the dials inside here, too. That's actually amazing. But uh, yeah, guys, let me show you the main feature of this tractor that makes it absolutely epic. Watch this, guys. Okay, well, first of all, I didn't even, wasn't even trying to do that. But yeah, it's got double wheels at the back makes it look absolutely amazing but you can also open the engine on this thing look at that if that's not cool nothing is <laughs> like look at the detail in this thing it's just absolutely crazy so like blown away when I first got this tractor I was like oh my god like the amount of work that went into this tractor to make this mod just insane but yeah, I'll just let you look at the engine for a bit here. It's just so gorgeous. It's crazy. I wish I had this tractor in real life. It's so nice. But yeah, we'll get back in here and uh, close the engine. Show you some of the other features here, guys. Well, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot, this, uh, by pressing 5 enables the wheel weight, so that's pretty cool as well. And then, yeah, that's the work lights there. And then, what else do we have? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. You can change the front weight, oh yeah, there you go. So you change the front there, you can change it to this or the weight. I like the weight actually, I think. Yeah, there we go, we have the second wheels. I'm actually going to drive this thing around a little bit, it's so nice. I just love this tractor, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we'll turn around here, don't want to go, whoops. Nice one, failure. Don't worry, we'll just drive right through a tree there. It's no big deal. Yeah, this video is probably like a million years long. I better end it soon. We only got a few more tractors though, so it should be done quick. But yeah, let's go back here and get another tractor. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite mod. I'll park it right here. I'll put the engine open, make it look epic. 
shut the engine off. Is it Y or is it the other key? Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. That is just so sick. That's totally going to be my thumbnail right there <laughs> for this video. That's just the most epic looking tractor ever. So nice. So gorgeous. Alright, let's get on to our next tractor. Enough of that one for now. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we have the 8360R, second biggest tractor I have. This thing is nice too, it's got its own like little phone thing there that you can actually uh, look at when you're starting it up, it's pretty cool. Actually gives you uh, different controls I think too, that's pretty cool. And let's see if, yeah, putting the lights on actually turns on stuff in the tractor as well, which is really cool. So yeah, really nice modding inside here as well. It's got a radio player up there, that's cool. And uh, yeah, nice John Deere on the seat. This thing is absolutely huge, this tractor too, it's massive. And yeah, this thing looks like an absolute beast tractor too because you can do this. You can put on the front wheels and also, if I'm doing this right, where's the back wheels? I oh don't know, the back wheels aren't working this time, what the heck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can put double front and back wheels on this tractor too. It just makes it look totally like ultimate tractor. This thing is gigantic. It's even bigger than the uh, 7530, I think it is. I forget. Let me go over here and see. Yeah, 7530. Yeah, this thing's just an absolute monster. This tractor, you can pull anything with this thing. Totally awesome. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty much it. Honk the horn on this track a bit, maybe. Yeah, let's go to our final tractor. Which is the almighty and the biggest tractor that I have, which is the 8430. And I actually think you can open the engine on this thing, too, because it's got, like, detail. A little bit of detail on the inside, not nearly as close as 8220, but yeah, it's still got some detail there, so that's cool. Yeah, let's start this thing up here, and uh, yeah. So yeah, this thing actually, uh, you can open all the windows and stuff, so that's really cool. You can open that back window there, and then you can open the left window. Oh, I guess you're able to, yep, you can put double, double wheels on this thing as as well so this thing looks like a monster too I actually think it's my favorite tractor thanks considering it's the biggest yeah this thing this looks epic put all the lights on on it yeah that looks so sick it's an awesome tractor too but yeah guys I think that's pretty much it for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe on my channel as always. I am Black Tiger. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my uh, John Deere tractor mod review. Yeah, guys, these are all mods if you didn't know that already. Uh, you cannot like get these in the standard game. And uh, yeah, if you want me to, guys, I'll try and find these mods. Like I. Uh, I downloaded these quite a while ago, so I don't know if I'll remember where I got them from, but I'll try my best, guys, to uh, find them for you if you'd like me to do that. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know if you want me to do that, and uh, I will definitely do it. But, yeah, guys, peace. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did, and subscribe, as always. But, yeah, guys, peace. Thanks for watching.